which without a doubt, by the way, is my favorite art supply box to date. I know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, at, look. <laughs> she has opened a lot of art boxes. A lot of art boxes. <laughs> Chloe Rose's favorite art box to date. Look at this. Look at the art boxes. I think I'm becoming an art subscription box and boxing channel. I'm sorry. And I didn't mean it this way. It was just I keep forgetting to cancel the boxes. Even the ones I didn't like. I just keep forgetting to cancel them and they keep arriving. Like, I'm sure I cancelled this. So, hello there. My name is Chloe Rose and I am slowly becoming an art subscription box unboxing channel. So, I'm going to open both of these today to see what's inside. Now, if you watched my other Crayola box unboxing video, you'll know that I was not that impressed. That is lit. That's literally the box. Is that really the box? That's the box. Oh, okay. So today I have two Crayola CIY boxes that I did not cancel. So I've just opened up the second box for this video and I wanted to just put this in there that I cannot believe what I've just opened. I'm in so much shock right now. Also, disclaimer, I do realise these boxes are made for kids. People on the other video didn't seem to pick up on the fact that I was saying I knew it was for kids. Um, but the reason why I'm opening these and criticising them is because parents pay a lot of money for these and they want their kids to get a good value of money. So inside this... Ooh, okay. Okay, I'm actually more excited about this, vid this one already. Let's see. So we've got some yarn. We have some string. We have some... Oh, these are probably pins. Okay, this is, this, yeah. I'm gonna hurt myself today. We have some of their washable watercolors, which I've actually never used. We have, ooh, okay, we've got a bunch of lollipops in here too. I mean, already I'm more impressed with this box than I was the last one, so that's the good thing. So we've got one of those earrings some women wear. And you kind of look at it and think, mm, that would make quite a nice, uh, quite a nice necklace. We've got a galaxy, like, sheet thing we have a oh okay you're on the floor we have a cork board which is quite neat oh and we've got a string art template for beginners oh you fell on the floor as well it's full on the floor day today apparently so we've got expert level um i'm gonna be doing the expert level today because i like to make things difficult for myself so inside a little goodie bag here so i've got a five dollars off twenty dollars or more at crayola.com so i can buy some crayons if i want i also have a golden ticket to get a free bag of zolly pops is this a key ring it looks like you're having a car wash to clean your car oh it probably goes on the it probably goes on the hoop earring necklace thing okay that makes sense i'm not gonna lie i'm actually quite excited about this box i feel like this already is slightly better value than the one i had before which was 40 dollars so even though I still don't think this is worth $40, I still feel that you're getting a better value of money for this box than I did in the other one. So apparently you also need a cookie sheet or wax paper, two to three bowls, warm water, tape, a cutting board and scissors. Crayola could have easily included some scissors with this. Tape as well, why couldn't they include a small roll of tape? Two to three bowls, again, they probably could have included some sort of bowlage. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is the wrapped string art. I'm a bit confused why they've got a big cork board here and then a small one when they've only included one for me. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is start with the wrapped string art, which I'm very excited for because I've seen this so many times, but I've never actually done it myself. So it says you may choose a decorative paper as your background, place on the tile and pin it down. So I'm gonna use... This. It's too big. <laughs> it's too big. So they've also got templates online that you can download. Because I was actually going to say they've got a really cute heart here that they didn't include, but I guess I could download it if I wanted to. I can't help but feel this is quite dangerous for young children. But then again, I am pretty clumsy. Ow! 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 I would like to reiterate to people that I am actually not a crafty person at all. Like, crafting in general is an art in itself. Um, but it's an art that I'm not very good at because I've never really done it. I'm oh, these are glued together. These ones are soulmates. Oh, I'm using way too many pins. They've hardly used any pins on this one. So apparently, you just gotta gently rip it. 
Okay, so we've got this, which kind of looks messy, but I hope that I'm able to fix it. Start weaving in a back and forth technique. Let it flow. If you don't like how it looks, unwind and do it again. I'm just gonna, I guess, do the outline. No, stop, stop. I will do a craft well for once in my life. Really? Really though? Why have you done this? How am I supposed to know which the eyes are? You know, obviously I'm quite a noob at this, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but I do kind of wish they'd put holes where the pins should go. I mean, he kind of looks a bit like a wolf, right? I'm not necessarily saying the craft is bad because clearly it works for some people. I am just completely incompetent at doing crafts. This next one, you just cover the hoop with the, the yarn. Let's tie it. I just do not enjoy crafting. I just find it so much hassle. What is it actually doing? Somehow I've now got three different ropes. I really don't know how spiders do it. I think I'm just being too adventurous. I think that's my problem. Going to burn it with fire. It doesn't look anything like a cobweb, but that was what I was going for. You know what? It's not half bad. For my first attempt at threading a web, it's not too bad, right? Does it look okay? Um, now we have to make a dangly thing for it. So I used to do this as a kid, but I've kind of forgotten how to do it. So I'm gonna cut this on one end. I'm just gonna tie it like that. Okay, so this is our little um, cobweb thing that doesn't really look much like a cobweb, but it's gonna do, I suppose. How do you get the paint tablets out? They're not supposed to come out. Dissolve one paint tablet, but how do you get it out? Okay, so, water. So we're gonna stick this broken tablet in there. Right, are we ready? I mean, it looks pink, I wanted red, but. I wanted it to have like a Spider-Man type of look. Okay, blue worked. Okay, so here is our second craft. It is a Spider-Man spiderweb pink and blue. Uh, oh, I've just realized that side's completely stained. Brilliant, okay, let's look at this side. I found it quite stressful, but I think it would be something fun for kids if they didn't sort of try to make a cobweb like I did. But yeah, the whole putting the tablet into the water thing, stupid idea. Do I feel that was worth $40? I mean, I wouldn't be overly disappointed, but I definitely don't think it again that it's worth the $40 mark. Probably more like $30 I would be okay with, but you know, whatever. It was a good box, I'll give it that. And in our second box, we have, oh, we've got a little circle, wooden circle. We have two wooden circles. We're gonna have some fun today, ladies and gentlemen. Another organza bag with, oh, that's cute. Sorry, hang on, this is cute. This is cute. It's like a little pipsqueak marker. Oh, it smells, it smells like strawberries. I would far rather have something like that than the candy they've been giving. And okay, already, this is so much better. Um, I, I did say in the first box they made, they needed better paint brushes than what they provided. These are de more decent paint brushes. Then we have a couple of paints, so we've got a blue and a yellow. Oh, okay, we've got a little canvas pouch with a zip. So you've got a nice canvas bag with a pin, whatever you call this thing, enclosure, you know, that goes like that. Smells like a canvas bag. Then we have some... Okay, so the box is empty. I actually thought there was gonna be more, but there's not. So we have a 
template thing, which I'm guessing we'll use to paint on the canvas bag, and a bit of foam for something, I'm not sure what. So, I absolutely love this idea, don't get me wrong, but again, for like a $40 price point, like you could probably get one of these, say for $5, okay, let's just say $5 for this. This is a dollar at most, $6. Seven dollars for these two because these are really cheap paints. Um, eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars. Stencils like this you could probably get for a couple of dollars. Thirteen dollars. Um, and then you've got like the pip squeak thing, which smells good to be fair. But this this is genuinely not worth any more than fifteen dollars. I love Crayola. Don't get me wrong. I love Crayola products. I think they're wonderful. But if you go into Target. They actually have craft kits there that you can buy for about $15. Like, for example, the first box I ever did with, like, the, the dough stuff and making the bowls, you can actually buy that exact kit in Target for, like, $15. Um, and you can basically make everything they put into this box for about $15 to $20, $30 in the kits they provide at places like Target. And yet they've got a subscription box here with the same stuff inside for $40. Like, I personally love Crayola. I think they're a wonderful brand. I think they're absolutely fantastic. But whoever's putting together these subscription boxes, I kind of just don't really understand why they're okay with putting this little amount of product in. I don't want to complain too much because Crayola is a great brand um, and it's not the brand overall that's doing this. It's just the, the, the subscription box people. This is such a cute idea. I really love it. I really genuinely love the ideas that they've got here. So apparently once you've used this paint and it's dried, you can stick it in the dryer for 30 minutes on high heat and that will help to set the paint onto the material, which is good because this is like washable paint. You have two wooden stamp bases like this, which you use with the stamp foam. So basically this is sticky here um, and you make your own shapes. You cut out some like whatever you want to do, and then you stick it on here and use it as a stamp. I'm gonna make a little uh, TARDIS art palette shape. A donut, let's do a donut, even though we've only got two colors. Okay, so there's my art stamp, looking good. Yeah, that's more so for the second craft, so we're gonna leave that for now. Um, and the first craft basically shows how you can um, basically cut out the stencils and then paint on whatever you want to paint on. Okay, so we are going to stick the cardboard into the tote bag, like they mention. And actually, you know what else annoys me? On the picture, you can clearly see that the cardboard they've got is perfectly big enough for the tote bag, but this, this is way too small, and they tell you to use the cardboard from the box. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. So, they're also very, very tight with the colours they give you. Like, there's not much you can do with yellow and blue. You can make blue, you can make yellow, and you can make green, and that's literally it. Okay, that's a bit of a messy little lemon, but he will do. They didn't even include, like, a, a little palette or anything. Which is kind of stupid, because it wouldn't have been pretty much anything for them to include a little palette. Like, basic things that you want in this craft kit they don't provide that they could have provided. I'm gonna try and get some variations in colour actually, which I think might look quite cool. Okay, that looks quite cool. I actually like that. I'm happy with that, how that came out. So yeah, is it a cute idea? Absolutely, it's really cute even though we kind of the stencils are very thin, so they kind of go smudgy and weird. But overall, it's a cute idea. You can have a lot of fun with it. I really do love the craft idea. I love how they've put the box together. But again, $40! $40! And now we are going to move on to the little pouch. You are supposed to use, like, the stencil to make your own. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is paint the stencil yellow. So let's just sort of do that and then hope for the best. Oh, okay. That didn't turn out that great, but that's okay. We can fix it. Make it literally look at the mess I'm making. <laughs> what is a child like? <sighs> I mean, all 
jokes aside about the price, this is for sure my favourite box that I've used. So it kind of looks weird, but I'm quite happy with it in a weird grungy like way. It looks quite good. So that is, that's literally it. So I would love to hear your opinion on what you thought of how these boxes arrived, what was inside. Do you think it's worth the money? Do you think that it's not worth the money? Definitely let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I have made a mess as per usual um, These are the four crafts that we made today um, I'm especially fond of my strange looking mummy looking fox and my spider-man looking Thing so that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if there's any crafting boxes or art boxes that I've not tried in the past, do let me know in the comments down below and I will definitely see what I can do. Uh, but yes, thanks so much for watching this video. Give it a like if you liked it. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.